Okay, so on this video, I just wanted to do a simple video uh, using my Klein Tool CL2300 multimeter. I really do enjoy using this multimeter, but one of the functions that I never really get to talk about is the fact that it allows you the option of checking the temperature. You can see here right now um, it's set at, it's picking up an atmospheric temperature of 76 degrees. Now I know that that is accurate because my thermostat in my home is set to 76 degrees. Of course it's fluctuating because I'm touching it and it picks up the temperature. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see how fast and how accurate it is. I'm going to stick this portion of the thermostat inside of the freezer. And I just wanted to show you how fast the results are. can see immediately the temperature starting to drop. Now I've left it connected for about two minutes. I didn't want to bore you of having to watch it go all the way down. So the freezer, the normal settings, there's a lot of information online you can find. But generally the rule of thumb is it should be at least zero degrees in your freezer. So you can see here that we have already reached negative, um, a negative reading right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside my fridge and we're going to see the reading for our fridge. Now here what we've done is we've stuck it in the fridge and you can see right now we're holding a steady temperature at 38, 37 fluctuates. Uh, a good reading, uh, determining on who you read in the websites, is anywhere between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see here right now we're at 37, which is a really good reading. So again, if you are looking for a good um, multimeter, I do highly recommend the Klein Tools. This is their latest version right now, the CL2300. Again, it's the complete package in my eyes, and I can say that this tool has really eliminated the need for the more, um, what is now becoming an extinct uh, tool, that old little metal thermostat that you would place inside your fridge or your freezer, and you'd have to wait 15 minutes. This really does eliminate that, and it's much more accurate and helpful in this field.